family of four is about 90 bucks. The most expensive park is Yankee Stadium at $149, and that does not include hard hats. They were able to roll away the tarp and play ball at historic Synergy Field tonight. The Reds facing the Astros and pitcher Shane Reynolds in the second. This is Willie Green, one word, 13 letters. Forget about it. The three-run homer, his third, 3 nothing Reds. Brett Tomko dug the offensive support and got some defensive help, too. Eduardo Perez with a nice belly flop catch of the bunt. No double play, but no problem for Jack McKeon's kids. In the fifth, Chris Steins picks up where he left off in Denver with a frozen rope homer to left. His team leading fourth. Steins is batting 382. Tomko took it from there. In eight innings, he gave up three hits and one run with four punch outs as the Reds even the record at seven and seven with a four to one win. I couldn't have done it without the team. I mean, we had some, Willie hit that home run and, and when you get three runs like that, it's a little bit easier to go out there and go after people. I was looking for off-speed pitch and uh, he threw me a fork ball that uh, stayed up and I was able to hit it out of the park. I'm not trying to hit the ball out of the park. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, think about hitting the ball the other way, line drives and, you know, every once in a while get a hold of one inside and, and pull it out of the park. Osmus is hard up for souvenirs. What a desperate attempt to steal a ball by hiding it in his chest protector. Brett Boone's no longer desperate for hits. This double in the second gave the Reds an early 2-1 lead. Boone finished three for four, including a two-run homer. But Weathers wasn't able to execute that game plan in the third. This double by Bill Spires scored two and started a big inning for the Strohs as they scored five times. Weathers left after giving up six runs. The Reds tried to rally in the fifth. Aaron Boone with a single. Brother Brett given the green light to try and score. Sorry, Charlie. Boone out on a close play at the plate, and the Reds didn't get the sweep of Houston. They lost tonight 7-4. That was one of those nights, you know, we, nothing went right for us. We didn't help ourselves any, and uh, they beat us. For the season, look at this pitch. Just drop off the table. Mike was smoking. He strikes out five in seven innings. Here's another guy off to a good start, Eddie Tobinsey. The score was tied when Eddie rips a double. Larkin scores. The Reds take a 2-1 to one lead. But the Reds were down a run in the fifth. Larkin was swinging a big stick tonight. That's in the gap. Chris Steins scores to tie it up. Steins had two more steals tonight in this game. Later in the fifth, Demetri Young tries to give the Reds a lead. He does better than try. That single puts the Reds on top four to three. In the sixth, the Mets get the leadoff man on. But Rimlinger gets Brian McRae to hit the bouncer. And that is a heck of a play to double up a guy as fast as Brian McRae. In the eighth, the Reds are clinging to the one-run lead. Man on third, Willie Green comes up firing. And there's another great play. The tying run is cut down at home. The Reds hang on to beat the Mets four to three. This club here is a club that's going to, you know, uh, lose a few here and there. But they, they got a lot of competitive spirit. And uh, they're going to battle you. And we're going to get better as the more games we play. And uh, We play hard. And, you know, that's one thing that uh, this team has done this year. In every single game, we played hard. And uh, I'm very proud of that. Because today it was Green's defense that cost the Reds the game. Jack McKeon working his magic in the dugout. Actually, he doesn't look like he's doing anything. Eddie Tobinsey working his magic at the plate. One word, 13 letters. Wrong. Homa, Roma, Rama. Gotcha. Reds lead 2-0, second inning. Brett Boone, another big day, 4-4, and this RBI double scoring Tobinsey. That made it 3-3. Boone's average is now 397. It was 4-4 in the 10th inning, and on a routine play, Willie Green uncorks a wild one. That allows Rich Becker to score. The Mets win 5-4. Now that, Willie, is a good throw. That's part of the game of baseball, and, you know, Belinda did a super job in, in battling out of that jam, and, um, you know, that's, that happens. We probably win a few the same way, somewhere along the way. They all even out. First, anyway, Barry Larkin, hard up the middle, gets past Green, skips through, starts a four-run first. Adding to it, who else? Brett Boone, still hotter than Alabama asphalt. Goes with it, in the gap. Four runs on five hits and a walk all in the first, but dum-da-dum-dum. Green hacked and hacking. Drive the right off Mark Hutton, off the wall, two-run game. Next inning, Hamilton's own Mark Lewis, man, just plays. Drives in the tying run, and you know what's coming. Yep. Gabe White up in the fourth, 0-2 pitch. Doug Glanville jacks him. Oh, that dog will hunt. Phil's get him 5-4, breaks a six-game losing streak. After his first inning performance, Green gives up just four hits 
in the next six innings. With modern technology and no clutch hitting, anything is possible. The Reds come out with guns a blazing. Demetri Young earns another start tonight. He comes through with a couple of hits. This gives the Reds a three to nothing lead in the first. Still in the first, Reds pitcher Mark Hutton does some damage. He drives in Brett Boone. Demetri Young is pulling some plows right behind him, trying to score, and he is. He's out, but the Reds lead at four zip. The Phillies come back strong. Hamilton native Mark Lewis had two hits. This one drives home a run. The Reds' four-run lead is wiped out. After three innings, it's all tied up. Gabe White comes on to relieve Hutton. An 0-2 pitch with two outs in the fourth. Doug Glanville cranks it. The Phillies take a 5-4 lead. The score was still 5-4 in the ninth. The Reds get their first two runners on. Nobody out. Barry Larkin goes down swinging. Then Eddie Tobinsey pops it straight up for out number two. Then Willie Green pops it straight up for out number three. The Reds fail to advance the runners. The Phillies snatch the win. 5-4 is the final. The thing they won't escape with is their third baseman. Willie Green was injured. He'll be out two to four weeks. It was a tight game, but Jose Rijo was doing his best to keep everybody loose. The score was tied in the fifth inning. Bobby Jones lets loose with a wild pitch. Brett Boone is charging home, and he's safe. The Reds take a two-to-one lead. Mike Rimlinger threw well enough to win. He gets some help here. Reggie Sanders is back from the sprained ankle. He suffered the other night. Look at that catch, and Reggie hangs on after crashing into the wall. Here's where Willie gets hurt. He's stealing second base on the slide. Willie's left pinky is dislocated. As he left the field, you knew he was in a lot of pain. Aaron Boone should be coming back soon. In the eighth, the Mets get a rally going. The Reds need to get a double play here. But they can only get one out of this. The go-ahead run score. The Mets lead 3-2 to two. in the ninth. Brett Boone battled John Franco tooth and nail. Boone's called out on strikes. He hardly agrees, but it doesn't matter. The Mets pull out the win. Three to two. I'm going to miss him, and uh, yeah, I did fill him out there today because uh, I know how proud he is of me. David Weathers lost his father, Rule, to a sudden heart attack on Tuesday after attending his dad's funeral. David offered to stay with his mother as long as she needed him. While grateful, she told David he should rejoin the Reds in New York and make his scheduled start today. Met shortstop Ray Ordonez received his gold glove before the game. Fans received this video of his great plays. Ah, but the video wasn't enough. In the first, Ordonez shows remarkable instincts by fielding the deflection while sliding into second for the force play. But he couldn't catch everything, especially balls hit in the opposite direction. This single to right by Chris Stein scored John Nunnally, giving the Reds a 1-0 lead. Could Weathers make it stand up? Didn't look good in the fourth when Butch Husky blasted one to right, but lo and behold, it hit the top of the wall and bounced back. Only a double, not a game-tying homer. The Mets loaded the bases in the inning, but Weathers fanned Ordonez to end the threat, and the Reds went on to end their three-game losing streak with a 2-0 win.